Sir, sir, please stop. We'd like to interview. Uh, what do you think of what, what do you think of burnouts? And uh, do you like pleasing cars, or do you think you'll return this year? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. What are your thoughts on burnouts at Cleason Cars? What do you think about Garza's burnout? Did he hit the wall hard enough? Mm. And what do you, what about uh, Jay? What do you think about Jay's burnout? Okay, all right. We'll be seeing you. Hell yeah, brother! You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. What a freedom! Well, folks, I am inbound to Florida. Rolling through Atlanta right now. It's always a pretty sight. Can't wait to get the toter home home and get it washed. Also can't wait to see my dogs. Haven't been home for two weeks. So I'm excited to see Holly and Skiff. And uh, we'll be home in the morning, but I'm starting to drive tonight. James and Alec are driving the truck and trailer. Tell you what, driving trucks can be a hassle in crowded cities like this, but this GPS that came factory in the toter home is insane. Look who it is, dude. I've seen that truck before. About missed their exit. <laughs> Making it to South Georgia. Dude, no way. Did we... Is this Ralphie right here? As I'm filming? Is that freaking Ralphie as I am filming our truck? I'm pretty sure that is. I cannot tell. It is, dude. No way. The timing on that is insane. It's our boy Ralphie. Hey. And we, hey, dude, what are the odds that we have all three trucks together right now? Looking good, dude. Let's go. Awesome talking to Ralphie on the CB. Definitely enjoyed that. All right, solid rip. Let's see, we used up most of the tank. Kind of got worse gas mileage on that run because of the mountains that James drove through. But uh, running good. Woo! Clean unit, brother. Hey, brother. Made it into the Floridas. That's a big fire me up. Oh. Well, guys, I was jamming out, windows down, and I missed the 6,000 mile mark. But hey, whatever. We threw a thousand miles on this puppy today. So we're pulling into Bradenton, about to hit the Freedom Factory, drop this baby off, and head home. Oh boy, we got some work to do. The ditch is overgrowing. All the guys are in Indy with us. No one's been here for quite a few days, so. Old Freedom Factory is looking kind of rough, but uh, but we got some videos we're shooting here this week, so I'll show you that at a later time. We got some grass to mow. The grass is finally growing again. Whew, I'm happy to be here. It's uh, 6 a.m. Yep, just well, that's just 5 a.m., but it's actually 6 a.m. So she's an hour off. I'm gonna park this baby up. Hello, you freaking knuckleheads. Goodness, I'm starting to wake you guys up so late. Oh my gosh, so blinky eyed. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. I miss you so much. All right, good morning, everybody. It's a freaking beautiful day in Florida. Feels good to be back. Got a little bit of sleep, and now we are heading to the Freedom Factory. Gotta go check things out there. 
It's gonna be nice to drive old bison. Oh, those are love bugs. Man, I haven't driven a regular truck in a hot minute, so let's freaking do this. My uh, yard is cooked. I have a lot of mowing to do. And I really gotta knock that out. My side yard had all these cattle in it before, and now they're gone, and these gigantic weeds are growing up everywhere. Not to mention, too, while we were gone, somebody went off the road and knocked out about 100 feet of our fence. But we got it fixed. If you guys don't know what love bug season is in Florida, all of these bug marks are new from this drive, and it sounds like rain. It's this little bug, and I, there's all these conspiracies that some university made them down here in Florida, but it's this little insect that has no real natural predators. So basically, over the next few weeks, there will be thousands, well, there will be millions of these bugs that pop up into this season, and then they'll be gone in like two weeks. So right now, we're just in the start of it, and I'll show you as it progresses through the month but these bugs freaking annihilate all of our cars. Oh man, our ditch is growing back so fast. It was not an easy task to have this thing cleared out. It took uh, Drew like almost a week and a half. So we really gotta figure out a way to keep these weeds down. But I don't think you can just spray stuff in a ditch like this because it's part of the local ecosystem so we've just been trimming it but we might have to just dig it out periodically the problem is if we let it grow over it uh it starts to affect the drainage in the freedom factory which is crazy all the way out here can cause problems all the way in there outrageous freaking florida man look at that dude ralphie already dropped off the burnout vehicles there's georgie's there's all the units, the toter home looking good, it's getting washed. My buddy Cole is coming by to wash this thing up. She's a dirty girl. And I'll be honest, not a task that I will participate in, dude. I like washing cars. Washing this thing did it one time. I just simply do not have the time to wash the toter. So my buddy does it. Oh, there's a little warbird. So I gotta get up there, grab some merch that the girls needed out here. We did have a little bit of merch left over from Indy. And we're heading up to the shop to see old Jack Stan and Ty. Oh, look at this. This guy brought me a wheel off of a Chinook helicopter. That's like the freaking coolest thing ever. I am the owner of a helicopter wheel. <laughs> it's literally raining bugs on my truck. Look at all these freaking bugs, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, so check it out. I just bought this boat trailer. Set this deal up before I went up to the shop today. You're probably wondering, Cleeter, why'd you buy a 28-foot trailer for a jet boat? Well, the theory is with this nice aluminum trailer, we'll be able to extend the bunks and have both jet boats on the trailer. So I wanted to get something nice, high-quality trailer that when we send these things out to Alaska or Colorado or wherever we may go with them, they can go together and be on a nice trailer that's not gonna have issues. We're gonna rebuild the hubs anyway, get her dialed, disc brakes, nice little unit here. So let's head up to the shop, meet up with Jack Stan and Ty. See that, folks? That's what I'm talking about, dude. Love bugs, the worst. Came swinging by to drop some merch off. Old merch room, just killing it, but folks, we're gonna be moving soon. Look at that unit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this is the real deal. I know. <laughs> Should have built a bigger jet boat, but I mean, man, it's pretty much perfect in the back for the rear boat. And then we just got to maybe extend this bunk and just weld something here. And yeah. Just make these longer. We'll just make them, you know, we don't have to change this. We just make a second piece. Yep. And just spread those. Pretty sweet. Figure that'd work out. In some of the backwater spots we go to to unload the boats, but I know. We'll well, I think there. unloading them will be all right because we can always unload one and then drag the one off with the other, and then we'll just ramp them back up. It. It's got a big old winch on it, so should be good. Yeah. yeah. Big hand cranker. Got Jackson a new vacuum. He's going ham with it, dude. <laughs> dude this thing's a <laughs> oh, careful! Dude. Blow the head gasket on our damn vacuum. 
Yeah, dude. So, uh, guys, we'll update you on the jet boats in a minute. We're just working on some stuff. Getting them dialed before I show you the video. Ooh. But it's, you know, it's gravity mount. We got the, the, we got the ocean grip guys here. We got a dash almost in, but it's plugged in, right? It is, yep. Ooh. Can we power it up? We're going to flip the switch and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully mm. it's really oh. underwhelming. Oh. No fires yet. <laughs> it's a good sign. It's nice and quiet. Anybody remember how to start these things? Turn so, uh, hit the button. Hey, hold on. So this Can ignition you, switch just hold the beef. The, the tumblers are really wasted in this ignition. Yeah, so if switch. the switch is just on, then you just have to press that once. Just don't hold it. Ooh. Whoa! Let's go! Oh you had a gas too. Check key, we might have the wrong key in this one. Oh well this thing's gotta be. Yeah, yeah. I think we probably just well, have the wrong. You got, you're out of gas, so you guess that's Totally out of fuel. It says check key, it says fuel sensor. Fault. Low oh, fuel. Now you're really that's pissing right. it off, James. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a good sign. This is reassuring. This is reassuring. So we're going to uh finish up a couple things and then we uh we'll be in business pretty soon. Alright, about to pop the drive shaft in this puppy so we can start it up. Woo -wee. Excited to hear this thing. We got that through hole exhaust. JP Racing hooked us up with that, dude. And Julio and the guys are coming back later this week. So we're going for some water testing. Okay. Guys, we're prepared to show you what we're working with here. We have two jet boats that are pretty much done. I mean, like this one's almost done done. They yeah. are really close. Yeah. Ty has been cranking away while we've been out of town and he has gotten these things so far. So. Uh, we'll show you in the engine bay real quick. Uh, there are a couple things that are missing, obviously. Like, we haven't set up the uh, bilge fan, and we haven't set up the bilge pump, so we'll have to set those up before we water test them. But right now, we have new carbon seal on, drive shaft in, the pump is hooked up. You can see the, the steering is disconnected for the moment, but hopefully we should not have to steer this thing when we fire it up on the lift. I mean, that's the theory. Yeah, we can't, well, we can't run, run along. It's got no coolant in it. So yeah, it's just got one of those things. Also that. So, uh, no coolant yet. That'll be from there and then into our big filter right there. And then through the engine, through the water cooler, oil cooler, all that good stuff. But that's not hooked up. So charge pipes are done, though. Ty did a great job on those. Got our cold air. Well, lukewarm air intake, as I heard you guys say. And then the battery mounted up and Matt finished the wiring. So right now, for the first time ever, we're going to try and start this thing. So, I mean, I heard it when it was in the jet ski. Now it's got a freaking through hole exhaust. Oh yeah, and a modded muffler. Kind of, kind of, Ooh, we sandwiched her up a little bit. So, I mean, are we just gonna go for it? Are you gonna hook it up? Yeah, we're gonna see about this one. It said check key earlier. You can run it for a short time out of water. Did we put gas in it? It's about 10 gallons of the finest Ooh. pump 93. Pump 93? Man, Ty, you ready to be done working on these things? <laughs> I'm having a pizza party in my house. The day that we take these things out and yeah. we're done done, it's gonna be a good day. Are you gonna pop the dash in or wait? Probably wait Once till... we pop that bad boy in, it's not coming back. Yeah. So Once the dash is in, she's in for life. Yeah. Probably might as well wait. Yeah. Dude, these are sick. Rum, rum, rum. So. Woo and then down here, look at this. Oh, stereo, brother. It's gonna be a natural sub. Yeah, just got a bunch of stuff to wire up, like the lights. Got to put the switch panel in. That's going to run the bilge pump, the bilge fan, all that good stuff. Uh, some lights that we have installed under here. I remember when we first got these, I was like, oh, we'll finish them in like a month, maybe two. It's been six months. So. You know James's favorite saying is yeah. that the last 10% takes 90% of the time. Oh, yeah, or and you'll get that more on true. these big jobs. Yeah. That too. Yeah, both <laughs> very valid. Okay, so uh, Ty, I guess do the honors, dude. Freaking, let's power her up. So you gotta click it once so the dash comes on and then you just hold it and it should start. The power switch on. Just... Oh, frick. Ooh, does it, does it still say check key? We might have the wrong key, try it. Try and hold the button. Okay, let me see that key. Freaking Jack Stan's boat over here is almost at the same step. Try this one, sir. All right. I really hope it doesn't say check key anymore. Still says check key. Hmm. Well, there's that. That's interesting. 
What about the what? Maybe the clusters made it to the ECU. Oh, okay, okay. Good thing we didn't pop that puppy in. Okay, so we're gonna swap clusters. This is a real cluster of a situation. So we might have to switch back to the other key now too. I don't know why I'm so nervous about these. Like we didn't do anything to the engines. We just moved them. <laughs> so excited to hear it. I don't know what. Well, three cylinders, supercharged, you know? Wow, wow, wow. What it sounds like that, crap. <laughs> yeah. Details, details. Okay, give her the click. Don't you dare say check key. All right, try this one now. It's not a key at all. Biscuits. I mean, try and start it. It won't start. No, I won't do anything. Did you put your foot on the brake pedal? That might be it. Hmm, okay. We'll be back, folks. Okay, so what are the odds that that little guy is compatible to each boat? Probably pretty good. It was the the actual key fob acceptor, you know, like the, the, the flange or the receiver. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, well, we don't know. It doesn't say check key anymore. It's not quite as angry. We'll hit the button. Maddie, how do you feel? Jet boat time? Hit the button. No, we can't do it without tie, dude. We can't do it without tie. Distance still empty, 56 miles. Oh, come on, dude. Listen, I'm pressing the button. We're just going to start it up and lightly rev it to the red line like three times. <laughs> Perfect. Let's blow it up. Woo. I think you got to hold it. Ooh. Ooh. No check, Ooh. Key, no check yeah. key. Come on. Hold it. How long do you have to hold it? You just... Ooh. Ooh. Check in the lights on. The IBR works. Hey. Started back up. Come on, that wasn't long enough. <laughs> I know it's got no coolant, but come on. Yeah. No. Rev her up one time. Come on. It's a little one. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't Nothing like cold revving your engine with no coolant and no lubricant for the jet yeah, pump. you gotta treat them like how you're gonna ride them. Wow, really? Really need some rev limiter on that. Ty was kidding, James was not. <laughs> yes, dude, let's go! Oh, nice man. work, nice work. Thanks for the moral support, Maddie. Oh, and nice job on the wiring. Thank you. Hell yeah. Okay, ladies and gents, we have some stuff to wrap up. Obviously, we want coolant. And then second thing is we want water. So we're gonna try and wrap these puppies up this week and go test them this weekend. That's that freaking just fire month of freedom content for you. So the jet boat, whew, looking good. What do we have left? We gotta wire up the bilge fan. We gotta wire up the bilge pump and uh, plummet. and then plummet. But the JP Racing guys are bringing everything to plummet all in one spiel. So that should be no big deal. They said that'll take them maybe an hour or two. Uh, then just mounting the buttons and stuff. How do you so feel, Ty? Feel she works. Like weight off my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> she works. Matt's got everything mechanically wired. Now yeah. he needs accessories. Wired. I know, I know, but we'll worry about those. We later. gotta make it a party boat here. Yeah. <laughs> How far is this one, Matt? You just gotta um, finish up some stuff up here. As far as like system-wise, it's really pretty much in the exact same state our brother is in. Okay. This one just needs a battery and then a little bit of a uh, room room to put the key back in it now that we got the key debacle. Oh. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and uh, she should light right off. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys. Just be ready for some jet boat action. It's coming hopefully this weekend. Hopefully it goes smoother than our last uh, hovercrafting outing. But I'm feeling good. Jet boat's coming soon. Don't want to go over the handlebars in this unit. So thanks for watching, do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.